Uh, my name is Mike Sealander. I'm a senior engineer at Human Made, and we are at WordCamp for Publishers 2018 in Chicago. Gutenberg is the new editor for WordPress. It's rebuilding it as a JavaScript application, and it's creating basically a new paradigm within WordPress where everything is an individual and isolated block. So every paragraph you write is a, an item, a distinct piece within the content area. You can move that around, you can add items in between, you can add contextual items around it. Um, but it's taking it from one giant editor input box into a multitude of them that you have more flexibility with. Yeah, so as far as working with clients with Gutenberg, we have worked with several of them over the past several months. We've done a couple of migrations from Visual Composer to Gutenberg or from a third-party CMS into Gutenberg. And we've also just rebuilt several aspects of our own site in Gutenberg. So we've dealt with it in many forms in different shapes with different clients. So we've had a pretty well-rounded experience with it. Um, <clears throat> As far as approaching it with the clients, what we've tried to do generally is say, this is the future of WordPress. This is what your site will be on in X, and we don't know what X is, number of months. And we want to prepare you for that. We want to make sure that you are on the cutting edge and you already have uh, the advantage of having worked with this and having a site built and ready for it. And that's generally the benefit that clients see out of it, is that when Gutenberg comes, that they're ready for it, they're on the cutting edge, they are they know the risks of it and they're aware of that, but they also have the experience of working with it and they can get the benefit of that for their editors right now. We've seen a particular benefit for clients coming onto WordPress for the first time because they haven't seen what the classic editor looks like. And so for them to come onto WordPress in a Gutenberg world where you already have this block editing experience has been really beneficial for them. So when we, when we first talked to clients about Gutenberg, um, we definitely introduced them to the concept of it and we introduced them to the editorial benefits of it. And we try and offset that with the risk that's also inherent with Gutenberg right now because there is a lot of risk in the flux of the code base and the fact that they're constantly changing the UI around. And particularly when you're dealing with editors, changing the UI around involves a lot of risk. So we try and introduce them to both the positives and the, um, the potential negatives of it. And oftentimes, the positive outweigh those negatives. And um, recently, we've done a, a large migration from a custom one-off CMS um, that a client had built over the past several years into WordPress, into a multi-site instance. And we chose to do that Gutenberg. And we chose to pitch them Gutenberg for this particular task because it allowed them a, a level of customization that their editors were really wanting. Uh, when they're coming into WordPress, they have to be able to sell their editorial team on what the benefits are and how this improves over their last CMS. And Gutenberg really gives it that extra little bit of edge. So with regards to creating customizable blocks, we found a, a lot of benefits for clients in that. And in fact, when we're working with Gutenberg and moving a client over to Gutenberg, that's the majority of the work that we're actually doing when we're doing this. So every client has very specific needs and, and items that they want to put into the content. And as opposed to building out short codes, we just simply move that into Gutenberg blocks. And that ranges everything, ranges everywhere from basically recreating a page builder in that a client can go into a page put in a bunch of blocks that fill in with posts and they're able to really curate a whole editorial section that way to having just basic simple output uh, such as like building an accordion block or something like that. Um, so we've been able to really run the gamut from very, very customized blocks into very simple blocks. And I think that's been one of the biggest benefits for our clients and one of the biggest points of excitement for us is that we can create them, create an experience for them that is extremely curated, extremely interactive, and um, it allows their editors to actually see in real time what they're doing as opposed to just kind of guessing this block looks good here, this short code might look good here, etc. In my mind, and it might be different for other people, but in my mind I see the future of Gutenberg covering the whole front-end customization experience. So when you go into the customizer, so let's say you go into the front end of your website, everything that you see and that will be editable will likely be some form of a Gutenberg block or built on that Gutenberg block paradigm and using the same kind of React application um, entry point. So perhaps your header won't be a Gutenberg block, but aspects within that will be that same WYSIWYG editing experience and you'll be able to edit everything really in line 
basically editors are gonna get a lot more customization and it's gonna be easier for them to work with the front end of their website. But basically, uh, the future of Gutenberg is being able to customize everything on the front end of your website in line, in real time, and see those effects immediately. Um, if you wanna learn more about Human Made or the future of Gutenberg, reach out to us at humanmade.com and you can find us at just about any WordCamp.